This uh, was a two-part exam question. Uh, the first part we're given here, uh, and we'll do both parts. These were the, the weight of the red apples. We were given these, and what we need to do is construct a histogram. So this is part A. So what we've got is a frequency and a class width. And frequency density, remember, again, from previous videos, we've looked at this. Frequency density is frequency divided by class width. So if we do an FD column just here, frequency density is going to be frequency divided by class width. So we've got 18 over 20. Okay, So you can do this on a, a calculator to get the um, exact figures. So we're going to need them later on, it looks like. So 18 over 20, we're working decimals, and that's going to give us 0 0.9, which is going to be there, which I should have really known. Um, no real excuses for that, is there? Let's do the next one. And then now frequency is 28, and the, uh, the class width is uh, 10, so 2.8. 3.6 and the class width, uh, sorry, 36 and the class width is 10, so 3.6. 15 and the class width is 20, so we're going to get 0 0.75. Okay, and then this one we're going to get 3 and the class width is 30. 3 divided by 30 is going to give us 0 0.1. So these are frequency densities. Frequency density is just frequency divided by class width. And they were good enough to supply us with a table. So let's, uh, I think we'll do it in pink. So the first one is going to be 0 0.9. Okay, so 0 0.9 is going to be from 30 to 50. So we need to go from 30, and there's 0 0.9 to 50, and then down. And there's our first block. Okay, the next one, 50 to 60. So this class width is only half the size, uh, but we've got a frequency density of 2.8, which is going to be just there, give or take. These are, as you can probably appreciate, doing it on here isn't going to make it as accurate as if you would add a nice uh, pencil and ruler, but it'll give you a fair idea of what's going on. So 2.8. And based on the videos that we've looked at, Remember what frequency density is. It's, it's proportional. The area is proportional to the the, um, the frequency. So 2.8. The next one is 10, and this was 3.6. So 3.6. There's 4. I think 3.6 is going to be just there. My 1. That looks about right. If it's 1 out, apologies. That looks okay to me. 0 0.75 which is going to be here now 0 0.75 remember it's now 70 to 90 so we're going across a double space on this one okay and then 0 0.75 and that looks about 0 0.75 and then finally 0 0.1 which is this last one here which is just one little notch so job done nice and Nice and straightforward, and that's our histogram. Obviously, you'd, you'd be a bit smarter with it. Right, on the next part of the question, the histogram now, we're working with green apples. The last one were red apples, and these ones are green apples. So what we've been asked now is how many more green apples than red apples weighed less than 60 grams? So what we've got now, if we look back, um, once it weighed less than 60 grams, remember this is a strict inequality, so it's these two added together. So there were 46 in total. Those less than 60 grams, those two added together, remember this isn't inclusive of it. So the answer is 46. So let's work out how many green ones there were. If we think we're interested in this part right here. Now frequency is given to be class width multiplied by frequency density and that will give us a frequency so let's do this one to begin with class width is 20 so we're going to do 20 times and that's going to be 1.1 okay so 20 times by 1.1 is 22 so 22 in that one okay now this one is 10 uh, across so and now 3. Point, uh, 3.1 high. So 10 times 3.1 is going to be 31. So what we can see from here, that's 10, that's 3.1. Frequency, the number of them, is the class width multiplied by frequency density. So I've now got 53 in total. So let's go back, and I've got 46. 53 
subtract 46. Remember, these are G, these are green, and these are red. So what was our question? How many more green apples than red apples weighed less than 60 grams? The answer, 7. Hopefully that's been of some use. Um, drawing them, fairly straightforward. You've just got to understand these. I, every time I look at the topic, frequency density is equal to frequency over class width. Class width, just moving the formula around. So it's going to be frequency over frequency density. And then finally, to get frequency by itself, frequency is class width multiplied by frequency density. And if you can just move those around, all I've done is multiplied up divided down to give us this. And then I've just multiplied up. And you can just work with them a lot more effectively and efficiently if there's any difference between the two.